we have availability of single gene testing within our system. That's a rapid turnaround test. We can give a result quite quickly, but it's obviously as a single gene test, not going to cover the multi-gene algorithm that's needed. It may have a role, but it doesn't have the complete uh, ability to categorize the patient's tumor. We could put in an algorithm that would do the rapid testing for EGFR, ALK, and PDL1 and get that result, say, within 48 hours, and then make a decision about the larger panel afterwards. But to get that uniformly in place will require a variety of factors. One is agreement among our clients, and, and, and which are ultimately the surgical oncologists, the radio, radiation oncologists, and oncologists. Um, but in addition, uh, would would require us to get samples that are sufficient to do multiple rounds of testing. And so decisions have to be made up front sometimes that a sample is small and needs to have the right assay that matches you know, the size of the sample. Sometimes that means we would not ever be able to get a full panel from that sample. And perhaps we need to be able to make a judgment that in a, for want of a better term, a small sample situation that is a salvage protocol that we would use a single gene test that would yield the highest value data, but perhaps not complete data, but would be enough to inform that patient and prevent the need for a repeat biopsy. So these are the nuances in what we need to get standardized across the system so that the pathologists know what to do and the clinicians that we work with have an expectation of what we're actually going to produce, that we're doing the smaller panel not because we're uninformed, but because it, it matches the sample that we have and we're trying to maximize what we can get from a small sample. That understanding is not always clear and that came out during the presentation as well, where at one point in moderating the session, I said, well, if it's this or nothing, which one would you rather have? And the answer was, well, of course this. But the fact is oftentimes they're not seeing it as this or nothing. They're seeing that we did this instead of the full panel and in some circumstances, that just isn't possible based on the sample size. So we're forcing a situation where the sample becomes inadequate rather than potentially informative.